Hi everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to install Magenta 2.4. I assume that you already have uh, your local environment set up with PHP 7.4 or 7.3. You have Nginx, MySQL database created, and also Elasticsearch. And the first thing what we're gonna do, we will create Composer project, and it will get from Composer all files which we need for Magenta installation. So let me type command composer create project repository URL All these commands you can find at the video description and also they are published at Magenta official installation. We're going to install Magenta Community Edition. So we, we see that folder when I, we're trying to install it's not empty. Let's check it out. And yeah, I was in the right folder. Let me try it one more time. And here we go. We get in Magenta 2.4.1. As you can see, we get in meta package from Composer, which contains all related Magenta packages. So now, usually in this phase, it takes some time to download and find out all dependencies for Magenta installation. Usually, it takes about like two to five minutes, but it all depends on your internet connection. The next step we're going to do after we do installation, uh, I will have to configure uh, PHP, which we use to Magenta. On my local environment, I have several PHP versions installed. I have PHP 7.3, 7.4, and I will use default config for Magenta, which comes with Magenta installation to adjust it. And after this, I will run Magenta setup install command which will install magenta as well as all related database tables we need and then we will be able to validate it online i found that magenta 2.4 doesn't have any web-based installation you cannot open url like it used to be before and install it using browser so you have to follow in this case uh, bin magenta command and install magenta using command line not sure why it, it is happens, but I think it's something related to uh, web server configurations. I saw in previous Magenta installations that in some uh, local environments, uh, Magenta web-based installations stuck because of uh, web server limits or memory limits, something like this. Most Magenta installations so at the Magenta 2.4, they require at least 2 GB of RAM for PHP in order to get through installation and that Magenta were operating without any issues. So we also have to have database. It can be MySQL 8.0 or MariaDB 10.4. Magenta 2.4 supports PHP 7.4. Also, it can work with 7.3. It's something new in the 2.4 release. We also have to have uh, PHP extensions. It's like bcmath, ctype, curl, and the complete list of them can be found at the official page. And most important thing what we have to have is Elasticsearch. Previous Magenta releases, they didn't use or didn't require Elasticsearch during installation and it was option. We were able to select MySQL search or Elasticsearch, but Magenta 2.4 removes support for MySQL search, MySQL engine for search, and now we have to use Elasticsearch. Okay, so now we can see that installation proceeds and it installs all necessary packages. And I think it's going to be, it's going to be ready in a couple of minutes or less.
Okay. So we can see that Magenta got all files. Now I have to change Nginx config file, which comes with my Magenta installation. It might be not necessary in your case. It is because I have my fast CGI pass configured as a 7.4 for my Magenta installation, but in your case it might be just fast CGI backend. Uh, if in case you use only one PHP version of your PHP FPM at, at your local installation. And now I have to restart Nginx. The changes can take effect. Okay. So we can see right now I have all Magenta files here. I can run bin Magenta and here you can see list of available commands. So the one we're gonna try and to, in order to install Magenta it's set up install. It has several options, but there are some required options we have. Magenta, setup install. The first one is base URL. In my case, it will be macyoutube.test. Admin first name. My name is Alex, if you don't know. And admin last name, admin email. I will put my support email. Oops. Yeah. And accidentally, I tried to run command, and you can see that when you have misspelled option. In my case, I missed one dash, or when you uh, miss any of required options, it will give you an error. So, admin user, admin password. Backend front name. It's it's going to be our URL. Let's use admin and database parameters. Database name. Database user. Website language, time zone. I believe time zone now is optional parameter. And in case we want to clean database, we can specify clean up database. I hope I didn't forget any of them. No, I did forget. Oh yeah, it's uh, US should be capital. And now database installation going on. It also take a couple of minutes to clean up database and proceed with installation of new tables. It's going pretty fast, as you can see. Yeah, and also I have my Elasticsearch in the other tab. It's running. And now it's completed. Let me try to log in to install my Magenta. So let me refresh page. This is my host. 
and it is secure. So I use self-signed certificate and it's why I could not log in. I, had, I could not open website, I have to click to open it with not secure options. And I mean, and here our admin panel. So here our front page and our admin panel is tried out. So before I will log in, I have to configure two factor authentication and email will be sent. So in this case, you have to set up, before you start installation, you have to set up uh, send mile or anything similar to it where you can receive email for your admin installation. So I did specify my support email. Let me get install. Let me get installation link. But I think uh, I I have a tool which parses emails. On this local, I use MileHog. Let me open it. So it would be. Now no, it's probably different ports. Yeah, so when you will specify correct email, you will get email like this, where you can click and specify your 2FA provider. So I will use physical key. And here we go, Magenta 2.4.1. Let me know if this video was useful for you and what would be the next video which I can record, which part of Magenta you want to see, or maybe you're interested in the installation of Nginx and of uh, software which you required by Magenta. I'll be happy to answer your questions or record another video. Thank you.